Hey guys, my name is Nico. Uh, I'm making this video for any freelancers who might work with me in my e-commerce company. Uh, so first off, uh, Nico is my name. I'm traveling a lot. I work mainly on the computer. And uh, yeah, I'm running an e-commerce company and we have a few freelancers we work with and uh, the team is growing. So just making a video here for anyone else who might be joining the team. Uh, first off, I think generally everyone in the team, me included, I think, uh, we're, we're pretty friendly. Everyone gets along pretty well. Um, it's, a, it's a very forgiving culture. If you screw something up or if you do something wrong, it's really no problem. It's okay. Um, you're very much independent, working on your own time. Um, it's, uh, you know, I'm not trying to micromanage you, not trying to, you know, breathe down your shirt as you're working. It's just, I say, hey, here's the job. And if you can get it done without me, without me needing to, you know, really micromanage you, that's great. Um, very important, training documents. We have documents that explain how to do every single task in the company. They have been optimized over time. Every time there's a problem, we improve the documents. So making sure that you actually follow the documents and you don't just read them once and then do it from memory making sure that you check them every single time you do a job. That makes sure that the work you do, uh, one, you're not gonna do any mistakes, and then two, it fits in with everything else everyone else is doing, and it gets the results that we need to get done. Communication. Um, during the week, communication within 24 hours is important to keep things moving fast. Uh, on the weekends, I understand some people, you wanna take the weekend off, you wanna have a good time, that's, uh, that's totally fine. But uh, within, within 24 hours, during the week, it's, it's, if you don't do it, it's gonna really slow everything down, so just make sure you're available. Uh, we're gonna communicate mostly on Skype. That's where a lot of our group chats are, so just be comfortable talking on chat. Um, if we can do voice calls, that's good. And video calls are great for us to get to know each other, have some one-on-one -on -one interaction. That's really the best. Um, if you don't have video, that's okay. But, um, but the more interaction we can have, because this is a remote company, and the, if we can get out of just text conversations every now and then, that's great. Um, also, I like to talk about things that aren't just business. Um, it'd be nice to know what your situation is. Um, it's a company, and we're here to get things done, but if I can help you out in your you know, personal things as well, um, you know, if you have some, you know, your own personal goals, maybe you want to manage someone, maybe you're trying to you know, reach a certain income level to reach some goal or whatever, Tell me, those are the kind of things I love to talk about. <laughs> Communication, um, this is something that comes up a few times, is I will send maybe a long message or I'll leave a long audio recording saying, hey, we need to get this done, I have this goal, blah, 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 all these things we need to get done. Don't respond with just a one word answer. Don't respond with, okay. Like if I say, hey, we have this, 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 you know, can you handle this? I know you could respond and say, okay, or yes. But when I send some message that says, hey, we need to do all these different things, and you send a one word message back that says, okay, it does not build trust that you actually have the task under control. So leave a longer reply that builds more trust that you have everything under control. That would be something like, hey, Nico, I got the message. I see why, you know, I see why we need this, this done. I see we need it done by next Wednesday. I have time on Monday to do the first part and then on Tuesday I'll do the second part and getting it done by Wednesday should be totally fine. If I have any questions, I'll send them to you on Monday, but I'm ready to get started and I'll get started right now. That's the kind of message where if I get that, um, there's a lot more, I then can trust that yes, you actually have this under control. Uh, time efficiency. Next thing I'm gonna talk about, time efficiency. Uh, this is not a full time position. This is not even a set number of hours per day position. Um, this is basically your side job that lasts for a long time, but it's working when work is needed. So if you're in charge of managing shipments into, let's say, managing shipments into Amazon FBA, that would be one or two hours only when we have a shipment coming into Amazon because that's how long it takes to create the shipping labels and input all the information about the boxes and the units per box from the factory. Um, managing time, really, uh, it's, uh, you know, if, if you, if there's a job that should only take one or two hours to complete when it's necessary, let's say starting a new PPC campaign, might take one or two hours, 
creating Amazon FBA shipping labels. It may take one or two hours. If I go in and I check that uh, you've been billing 10 hours a week for the past two months, uh, that's not good. And um, it's, it's not good. And I know that you're basically just adding more hours because you're not being managed. Um, so please, you know, we're a very forgiving culture. Everything's okay. Making a mistake is fine. But purposefully billing way too many hours just so you can earn more money, is, uh, that's, that's not okay. Um, coachability. Uh, being able to try new things, being willing to try new things, and being willing to do new things. Most importantly, letting the documents tell you what things need to get done. Uh, I'm talking about the documents again because this is just vital, is that all the documents, you know, your document that explains what you're doing along with what everyone else is doing, they all fit together. And they're, it's like a big puzzle and there are all, the diff all these different pieces. And so if you don't follow the documents and if you do something that doesn't make sense with what everyone else is doing, it's going to lead to problems. You're not going to get the results that are important to helping everyone else get what they get, what they need to do done. But also, if you are just going from memory, um, you're going to make some mistakes and that's going to lead to big problems. I've had multiple thousand dollar shipments just disappear because someone has not followed the processes along with a whole bunch of other difficulties and issues. And uh, so please um, be coachable, be willing to um, be willing to follow the documents and learn from me, learn from other people and fit into the company instead of trying to do something completely independent, which may not work with what everyone else is doing. Talking about the documents again, improving the process documents, no matter what your job is, whether it's creating PPC campaigns or whether it's managing shipments or whether it's something else, the second job you have is going into the process documents and leaving, um, leaving a note or leaving a, a comment uh, in, in the Google Docs explaining, uh, hey Nico, this didn't make sense to me. I, I don't understand this part because that's how we improve the documents. When I know something doesn't make sense, that doesn't mean you're foolish for not understanding it. It means that I haven't created a document that's, that's clear enough. So this is so important. I'm actually giving bonuses for every single time you leave a one or two word comment um, saying, hey Nico, I don't understand this, or hey Nico, um, you know, if you made this part a little bit clearer, explaining about something that's not clear, then um, that would be great. I'm giving a bonus every single time that you help me improve the documents, even if it only takes you 10 seconds to write the comment. Simple as that because it's, it's incredibly important for making sure that the business improves over time and gets better instead of just using the original processes that I wrote that they're good and we have a lot of problems figured out, but I know they're not perfect. Um, so final things we wanna talk about. Um, if we start working together, the things that will get you fired so that we're not working together anymore. I'm gonna talk about all the negative stuff now. Um, missing deadlines or not communicating within 24 hours. Basically, if you are in charge of a piece of the company and you just disappear for a little while, um, especially if you don't tell the account manager what happened, then it basically slows the entire company down. We're all waiting for you and it might grind everything to a halt. Um, and then it leaves us questioning, can we trust this person to get things done on time? So the fact that you're available every 24 hours and that you're actually getting things done every 24 hours, um, even if your job is just a small piece, it may be the small piece that's keeping everyone else from getting what they need done. done. So very, <laughs> just don't miss deadlines. Um, not following the processes. The most difficult thing for me is when I have the process written out, it works every single time, but you just don't read the documents and follow the processes. I understand you may have done things your own way before, or maybe you think you have it from memory, but time and time again, if you follow the process documents, start to finish, you can't screw it up because I have screenshots, everything is clear, and if any part of the process isn't clear, you will leave a comment saying, hey, it's not clear, and I will make it clear. So following the documents, uh, just making sure you actually do it instead of the mistake a lot of people make, which is reading the documents one time, maybe two times, and then you never read them again because you feel confident and you think you can go quicker um, without reading the documents. Um, not communicating quickly, again, saying it just within 24 hours. And uh, final thing is, again, 
billing too many hours. If I go into the time management, whatever system we're using, and if you are managing shipments and there's only one shipment every week or one shipment every two weeks, and I see that you've just been robotically billing two hours a day, every single work day for the past few weeks, I will basically make the decision, unfortunately, to fire almost immediately um, because that is not a, an honest mistake. That is um, honestly just trying to bill as many hours as possible without doing any work. And the only reason being that uh, you know that I'm not there to actually manage you, to actually, you know, we're not in an office setting. So there's that opportunity to bill extra time just because you can. So now that the negative things are out of the way, uh, once again, I'm really looking forward to starting to work with you. We are a company where, I mean, I'm pretty relaxed. You can make a pretty big screw up and I'm not gonna mind. I will just say, hey, that's fine. But it's all about learning. It's all about um, staying in contact. Um, there's a whole bunch of people on the team. Everyone is super nice. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else to tell you, but other than the fact that we will have conversations, um, if we start working together, um, what will happen first is a couple interviews. Um, you'll get to talk to a few different people. We'll all get a feel for who you are. You'll get a feel for us. Um, but things roll pretty easily. There's not much to worry about, and it's a pretty stress-free job. So looking forward to talking to you soon and potentially working with you soon.